Since 1992, the United Nations Conference on Economic Development classified Trinidad and Tobago as belonging to a distinct group of countries, referred to as the SIDS or Small Island Developing States. Other SIDS members include Grenada, Bahrain and the Maldives and other countries as seen here. Mutual characteristics that Trinidad and Tobago shares with the SIDS are most commonly limitations due to their small size, such as a narrow range of resources, high energy and transportation costs, together with difficult to administer public and governmental services due to their small size. The high population density of SIDS and disproportionate resource distribution and difficulties with waste management are also common issues seen in these countries. While the productive engineering economy in Trinidad puts us in a higher standing among the SIDS nations, as a result of this high productivity there is also a large amount of waste. According to the Trinidad and Tobago Solid Waste Management Company, Swimcol, in Trinidad the average person generates about 4 pounds of waste per day, and in the city of Port of Spain this is up to 1.6 kilograms per person per day. Given our population of over 1.3 million people, this amounts to more than 1,000 tons of waste reaching our landfills every day, with the Beetham landfill receiving about 65% of this waste. Swimcall estimates that the Beetham site will reach its maximum capacity within the next few years. As such, an alternative site must be found soon. Apart from increasing land prices in such a small nation, as well as environmental concerns, no member of the public would want a landfill in their neighborhood. So, rather than using an alternative site for disposal, an alternative method of disposal would be more prudent in optimizing our disposal process and extracting the maximum efficiency from our disposal methods in line with our goals of sustainable development. Applying the principles of industrial engineering to our waste disposal paradigm, Alternative methods of waste management, namely energy from waste or EFW technologies, arise as a feasible and more productive alternative to landfilling. EFW technologies seek to optimize the waste disposal process by adding another step prior to final disposal. Successfully implemented in the United Kingdom, approximately 17% of the UK's total waste is processed by EFW technologies resulting in about 8% of the nation's entire energy production being directly from waste that was otherwise disposed of or landfilled. The most popular EFW method is pyrolysis, as illustrated here. In step 1, the garbage which was otherwise destined for landfilling is trucked into the refuse bunker. Here, as the bunker becomes filled, air is drawn into the plant for combustion so that no odors will escape into the atmosphere. A crane transfers garbage onto the hopper at step 2, where it is burned under low oxygen conditions at temperatures in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius. Magnets are then used to extract any recyclable metal from the carbon ash that remains. The hot gases from this combustion are transferred to the steam boiler area, where it is used to heat a set of tubes as in a conventional steam turbine generator, as seen in steps 4 and 5. In this way, electricity is generated and then is tied into the main grid. The now cooled waste gases are then filtered of any particulate matter and are then chemically purified and discharged through the stack. A more feasible, smaller scale option would be the biodigester. This is only suitable for organic waste matter which would include food and other biodegradable waste. This is cheaper to implement as small digester units may be used residentially. Within these sealed chambers, microorganisms break down the organic waste and naturally produce methane as a byproduct. This methane is highly combustible and is compatible with many generators as a fuel source to produce energy. The residual biodigestate is now a rich fertilizer and may be used for agricultural purposes. Despite our industrial progress, while progress is important, it's also important that we maintain a balance between our ecology and our economy. This is a perfect metaphor for what Trinidad's future should be like. A balance of industry and nature. This is a problem. <laughs>
thanks for your time and think about the children.